Aaron, with the way the pitching staff has struggled a little bit over the last two weeks, did you feel like Chad Green really set the tone with how he dominated out there? He did. I mean, he was he was terrific. Um, you know, obviously lighting up the radar gun, you know. Um, but you could just from the side, another day where it was real crisp. Um, I thought he, I thought his slider was good, you know, to the right-handed hitters, and, and that made his fastball play up even more. But the fact that he th mixed in some good sliders made that fastball really play. So it was really good to see, set, setting the tone for us, and then, uh, and then Nestor took it. Is that the best you've seen Green all season long? I don't know. I feel like I've seen him a couple times real close to that. I mean, that's... You know, I, did he strike out six? Yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like there's been a couple games where it's looked like that. Um, one of the games where he went, only won an inning, um, but uh, that's what he's capable of. Um, you know, obviously had some. He was rested coming in, and and it, he was he was big and setting the tone. Is there any temptation there to to send him out one more inning with how well he had been throwing the ball? Um, no, had, had he had a real quick one there um, in the second, maybe some temptation, but uh, no, once, you know, I think they got a base runner on him there, and, um, you know, he'd thrown enough pitches to where I wasn't really tempted. What was Nestor doing that made him so effective? I, I thought, first, I mean, he mixed pitches. He, he's his, his tempo is great. You know, he works quick. Um, but then he changes not only not only the ability to change speeds, change eye levels with the ability to pitch up with his fastball um, and down in the zone with his secondary stuff. But then obviously he gives you some different looks with his wind up and delivery that, that disrupt timing. But he was working quick and, and pounding the strike zone, especially as he got rolling there. Um, felt like he got a little tired there. Um, the inning before he came out and, you know, some talk about maybe getting him out of there, but wanted to see if we could steal a couple outs with him there uh, where I think he kind of hit the wall a little bit, but a, but a really good, efficient effort by him. So you guys are 5-0 this year when you use Green as an opener. Is there any temptation to do that more, I mean, to try to make that a regular turn? Um, well, I mean, a couple of those times it hasn't necessarily worked. We just won. So, um, I, I mean, look, when when when... Greeny's rested like that, and right now, obviously, we only have four starters, so it's necessary. It's definitely a way we feel comfortable going out there and knowing we can win a game doing it that way. Um, so we'll, we'll just kind of do what our personnel, you know, lends itself to. Aaron, do you feel like your lineup has room for another experienced power bat on top of Judge and Stanton? The next few years, theoretically? We, we could all... <laughs> There's always room for good players. Good question. <laughs> so you, you, can't, you can't say anything at this point about... The yeah, I've, obviously I understand there's been all kinds of dialogue. You know, obviously I didn't hear much, you know, I've heard some of the rumors during the game, but, you know, I'm not really going to comment until anything's official. Aaron, is uh, Frazier okay? Did yeah, you know, I obviously he got knocked down with the pitch that kind of knocked him back, so, and then didn't get it in the high gear um, there, but I, it was more just the pitch knocking them back, yeah.